been longing for children for years and years and I had a, a miscarriage and that nearly broke my heart and I went to my GP afterwards and she said well there's no harm in going for a bit of help so uh, she referred me to a clinic in Dublin and I underwent four cycles of IVF altogether and sadly it didn't work for us so at the end of a few years uh, I was feeling totally gutted actually almost terrified thinking that my heart's desire I was never going to have it I'd never be a mum and my GP is a lovely little lady in swords Dr Agnes Regis and she handed me a leaflet one day and it outlined the NAPRO technology which is another form of fertility treatment and I read it and thought about it and spoke to my husband and I made an appointment a couple of weeks later to start charting and the NAPRO teaches you to use your to tune into your body to help you conceive and or with the expertise of the doctors then they they tweak it a little bit to maximize your chances and after about nine months then I fell pregnant with my daughter Elizabeth. Well firstly with IVF um, there were days where you were you, you were monitored all the time, obviously, uh, to maximise your chances of conception, but you had to undergo sedation for some of those procedures and or take medications as well, uh, injections beforehand. And uh, with the NAPRO, uh, it was a slower process, but it looked at my health overall, my fertility overall. And what I was doing for the months before conception was charting my cycle and or uh, looking at how I could get myself in peak condition for fertility, not just generally good health, but for fertility. And uh, I had a lot of help to do that, and thankfully it worked. Well, in terms of myself and my husband, the IVF, you have to be very united when you go down that road, because uh, it's, the treatments are so intense and so invasive that you really need each other. And they really feel at the time that there's only just the two of you doing it. And if you put all your eggs in, in that basket and it doesn't work out for you, then you have to be around for each other afterwards because the outcome is, is, is horrible. It's horrible. You wouldn't wish it on anybody. Having said that, when we embarked on the NAPRO, we were very open-minded about it and we, we wanted it to work but didn't expect it to, you know, given all the disappointments that we had experienced before. Uh, but I do believe, in our experience, it has made us stronger as a couple. My advice for the parents would be keep your eye on the prize, uh, just don't give up, don't give up, you know, it's like that song, I get knocked down and I get up again, if, if you really want a family and you really want a baby then push the boat out and do everything in your means possible and don't give up and our happy outcome is thanks to the perseverance of, of a very good team at the NAPRO Fertility Care Centre and uh, Elizabeth is our daughter now and she's my joy and my, her daddy's little girl and I would say just keep going, just keep at it.